Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm sitting down here in the uh, horror cave down at the coffee table, and um, I decided to uh, do a little revisit on the dreaded evil stick. Yes, I know you guys have heard of these things. Um, they are really creepy. They're creepy as hell. Um, they actually made national news headlines back in um, 2014. Around this time, it was around Thanksgiving, it was, um, I was just looking at my paperwork here, and I printed out my paperwork here on 11-21 of 2014, so that was right around um, Thanksgiving a few years back, but uh, it made national headlines, it was a big, um, you know, big what to do about, you know, these evil sticks, and and basically, guys, if you don't, if you haven't heard of them, I, I like to kind of talk a little bit about it right now, and kind of bring you up to speed. But if you're in a creepy shit like I am, I'm sure you heard of these before. Um, they're real big. They end up on eBay. That's where I got mine from. Um, but let me let me kind of show you my little paperwork collection here on the on the subject. Um, I printed out a Snopes. Um, story and um fact or fiction and it you could see it turned out true um a, a mother bought this for her uh child in a, a dollar store in dayton ohio and um to her surprise uh underneath the foil which you could see the foil in this one right here i have it off currently underneath the foil there's a uh looks like a d demonic child uh, slitting her wrist and like I said these were found in a just a you know general dollar store in Dayton Ohio um, when the news broke um, I know everybody was trying to get their hands on these because it's just kind of it's a weird kind of crazy thing you don't expect to find in a dollar store I know I even went to the dollar stores around my way and kind of looked for them um, and guys they didn't have these um all there's only certain few that had these images inside them uh most of them had images of you know anime characters so these uh with the you know demonic child they call her slitting her wrist um were were only a few of them and um the people in dayton ohio i guess racked up on them i know the guy that i bought them from um i bought this one and he threw in an extra one because I spent a pretty good amount of money on this. Because I, I just had to have one, guys. The story intrigues me. Um, just the rarity of the item. So um, I end up getting one. And for, you know, I guess because of as high as the um, price went that I bought it for, he included this one also. Um, good guy. I'm still friends with him on Facebook to this day. Um, we chat every once in a while. But uh, next, um, here's the back end of the Snopes. Um, it just basically talks about the news report and about the image and how they don't really know. Um, you know, it's been investigated. Um, the evil sticks were made in China, but there's the numbers and the information on the back of the box here um, don't really go anywhere. So people were having to, you know, trying to find out what the story was and where these you know, why these, you know, gruesome, vulgar images were in a child's toy. Um, and then there's, uh, I did, um, there's a guy that bought one back then from Dayton, Ohio. His name, uh, I think it was, I forget it now, but it was Matt something or other, Matt Clark. He did a YouTube video and the thing, you know, went into the millions um, because he was one of the original ones that put a YouTube video up on the evil sticks. Um, so he did a video, I printed that out, this was also part of, uh, the Snopes, um, investigation type of deal. Um, here is my COA, basically, it's got my name, the actual evil stick that, uh, that I have, and the, the actual dollar store in Dayton, Ohio, that was on the news, that made national headlines. Um, there's the seller my buddy holding it with my name 
to show proof that's where he is and that's where he got it from and then uh, on the back of this sheet there's another photo with the actual receipt a copy of the receipt and the store 3846 Linden Ave Dayton Ohio the dollar store okay and then on this side over here I have my PayPal transaction and I have all the information covered but um, with this photo of Butcher Ludwig um, this was an update I guess a year or so after the evil stick they found out that the image inside the evil stick was actually this not a child which a lot of people thought but more like a, a, a teenager you know young adult that does these gruesome morbid photos of um you know photography and um her 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 um facebook page is butcherludwig.com and you know nobody and she was even from what i read um trying to sue this evil stick company for using her image in their um in their toy but like i said it just kind of went around in circles. People who investigated and tried to get to the bottom of it, they um, got nowhere with it because it just goes over to China. So we don't know if, you know, they found her image online and somebody thought it would be a, you know, kind of a joke to put uh, these images in the dollar store toy. Um, and then with the creepy laughter, the demonic laughter, um, that's different too. The other evil sticks don't have that um so these are really cool guys i i mean i was drawn to it i like the creepiness of it i like the um the story behind it and and not knowing really what you know where they come from or why somebody made such a thing how they end up in the dollar store um and guys i've even been offered big money from different uh toy collectors to to purchase one of the two of these i know i had not too long ago a guy contact me and offer um pretty good money um but i think i want to keep them both for a while and down the road if you know if i uh, decide i might sell one but um very creepy toys they even found themselves on uh youtube's creepiest children's toys ever made countdown um so um you can see the package it says evil stick it's got an anime character on there it says i can send out the luster of the beauty whatever that means but like i said guys the damn thing is just creepy it's just a creepy piece um you know what i want to hear it again because what i do guys after i show this video i'm going to take the batteries out because i don't want the batteries to ruin the the toy um so let's let's go ahead and hear it one more time is that not some creepy shit guys wow all right well that's all i got for you just wanted to uh go over that again let you guys see the creepiness and um yeah, if you have any information or updates on these things, please let me know. Um, I'm always kind of curious about them. But, um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Um, have a nice weekend. I'll see you next time.